Tuesday of week 10. The first time I'm actually checking in with you via my face. Maybe let's put our eyeballs on so I can see you. My hair looks crazy. Per huge over here, you know. But guess what? I'm literally already done with all of my cardio that I need to do to get my prize at the end of the week because your girl is just killing it. But like, like I said, I'm just like significantly more motivated to get things done, like get the cardio in. But because I just couldn't get what I wanted done while Mike was away, I just like, I'm like, of course I'm gonna go to the gym. Of course I'm gonna get outside as much as I can. Anyway, so yeah, I did it the first three days and I am already done, which is great because, oh my gosh, if Katie sees this and she sees that this haunted walker is still here, she's going to message me and tell me that she sees it. And I'll say, Katie, I know the haunted walker is still here. It is, I'm just trying to get rid of it. And you're like, um, probably thinking that right now would be a great time since Luca's on a nap and you're correct. So hold please. Okay, it's gone. See, I'm not even lying. It's not behind me anywhere no haunted walker okay <laughs> so my cardio is done flown by and what i want to do for my prize is go to this nail salon that one of the moms in one of my play groups play date groups suggested that's literally right across the street she gives you pre-made designs each month and she posts them on her instagram and they're on three different tiers they start at fifty thousand won. 60,000, 70,000, which it should probably actually go this way. She just put out her sets for March and there's a really cute one with, with stars on them that I really want to do. So I just don't have a great time this week to actually do it. Mike's cousin gets here tomorrow. So that's another reason why I'm really glad that I just, I got everything that I needed to get done out of the way, like fitness wise, because we're going somewhere overnight on Thursday, Thursday into Friday. And I need to kind of like also just wrap up this vlog in time to get it out on Friday when I won't be here. And I don't think I'm like really taking laptop and all this stuff for this overnight trip. Like that's bananagrams. Yeah, I'm just feeling good about myself for getting that done. We had a play date this morning. Right now I'm just waiting for a handyman to come and fix some of our tiles um, in our laundry room because let me just show you like what's been going on. One second. So this is our guest bathroom. This is like the top, you see? mirror tile and this has clearly been repaired because it broke apart and it was so scary and this part like fell down because it's like an outside wall there's like no insulation in there yeah just it, i don't know where it goes to but there's no insulation <laughs> and it fluctuates obviously the tiles fluctuate as the weather changes expanding and contracting and it just these tiles were like we have had enough sir and they protested and they broke in half so we had somebody come in and fix those and fortunately the um landlord is not going to charge us for that which i think obviously i cannot control the weather i wish i could i control a lot of things but not that the same thing is like happening to the floor the tile of the floor in our laundry room area they're coming to fix that as well because it is also just an outside no insulation sort of situation and the tiles are expanding and contracting with the weather so that's what i'm waiting for to show up now i just did a bunch of editing and i need to go get one two more things for my welcome basket for our guest because one thing about me is that i always have a welcome basket if people come and stay with us it's one of my favorite things to do, so I'm pretty excited. And this one I get to put in all kinds of fun Korean goodies that are, are just like funsies. So I need to finish that up when Mike gets home, but I also want to be able to go to the gym. It's just like a lot of things need to happen like all at the same time. So honestly, I might just abandon Mike and Luca for dinner. They'll, they'll just be as soon as Mike gets home at 4.30, he's in charge. I'm going to go run this errand, and then as soon as I get back, I'm going to go to the gym and i will eat when i get done maybe hopefully i'll just have a smoothie or something because here's the other thing you guys it has been a challenge to get back on track like food wise after our two vacation plus my gone two weeks in a row so like three weeks of just not really eating the best when i felt like i had like really gotten to this good space of what i was putting into my body with making all these plant you 
recipes and because I was just like struggle bus of just keeping myself and Luca alive for two weeks now it's like my brain is back into craving just like garbage because I had it for so long like I was having ramen literally every day it really felt like those newborn days a little bit where I was just like I just need anything that is close enough to shove down my throat that's what I'm gonna eat even if it's like not long lasting energy you know don't mind this I did get marker on my face while I was journaling today it happens. I've been trying really hard to like transition myself back into where I was. Giving myself like a smoothie instead of something sugary. I'm only on day two of me like trying to fix this problem. So bear with me. But I just feel really bloaty and gross and like really heavy when I before we left for vacation and like the week of vacation, I felt really good in my body even though like I'm not anywhere near where I would like to be I just I felt like not bloaty that's me that's what I've been struggling with this week I'm trying really hard to get back into it things are things are looking up things are looking up I just have to get back into the habit of making us dinners and you know make, getting up and making a green juice in the morning I miss making my green juice and I just like haven't felt motivated anyway that's been me and I just like haven't actually talked to you guys and in, in like this whole vlog I just edited my three days of cardio and it was a 35 second vlog and I just feel like maybe it should be a little bit longer so here I am talking to you guys Hey there, hi there, ho there. We go back to my prize of the nails. I don't have time, I don't think, this week to actually book with her. So I'm hoping, hopefully I'm going to be able to book with her next week. I am also have like a little bit of anxiety about trying to reach out to her to book the appointment. Because I know her English isn't very good. And my Korean is god awful. Like I, I know two things. I can say annyeonghaseyo and I can say kasamida. And that's it. So, <laughs> But other other Americans have, have used her. So... I'm sure it will be fine. I just need to get over that hump of anxiety. But yeah, so next time I see you, I'll be headed down to the gym again. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not too tired to not go to the gym. But I am planning right now to go to the gym tonight. Oh, because I also wanted to say, truly very motivating is my Juicy Scoop Patreon that I got for myself for completing February because all of this drama that's been going down with on bravo vanderpump rules holy shit like my mind is blown i have been so deep into like getting all the tea on this and then the day that i decided to buy my patreon or whatever you know what i'm saying the day i decided to actually buy the extra level she heather mcdonald put out an exclusive um like update on the vanderpump rules drama on that tier and i was like kismet it was meant to be bless it be i was so excited very motivated to get down to the gym so i can listen to all of this crazy drama because on top of like what just broke this weekend with Vanderpump Rules, I have like two weeks worth of celebrity goss that I need to catch up on, including the Haley Bieber, Selena Gomez, Kylie Jenner drama, which is actually just like not that great tea. Like the Vanderpump Rules stuff is like way better. I feel like I've talked your ears off now. I'll see you at the gym. <laughs>
such a good job. I can't even believe like how good of a job she did at these nail beds and like, oh, I feel so pretty. I want to get a better shot of them. So hang on. I'm going to give all of her details down below. Her name is Una. Her nail salon that I don't know how to say, but I, like I said, I'll put her Instagram all down below and shout out to her. And also a shout out to Sydney from our play date group that suggested that I go to her because she's so good and they're so pretty. I can't wait to show you when I get upstairs. I'm hiding in the bathroom because my girl's already asleep, but check them out. Let's look. Look at these beauties. They're so pretty, like I've said a gazillion times, but anyone, if you're in the area, like I said, I'm gonna post everything, all of her stuff down below. And like, there are so many layers on these nails. She took her time, honey. She made sure everything was stuck on there so they're not going anywhere, honey. And if you wanted to know just the details, 50,000, 60, 70 for the designs of the month, right? So I did 50,000 here. And then if you wanna use your card, it's an extra 5,000 won. If you just want a regular polish, I believe regular, no design at all was like 35,000 won. So just to give you a heads up of prices and stuff. But thank you so much for getting through week 10 with me. How exciting is that? As we slowly try to get ourselves back into where we were before we left for vacation, before we go left for the States, I'm excited to have you guys along on this journey as we are knocking down those weeks, man. And if you liked this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see, you have any questions, you just want to tell me how amazing I am, I'd love to hear it. And if you haven't yet already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along on this fitness journey, on the YouTube journey, and I will see you in the next video. I'm really on fire tonight, can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now, ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud, and if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out.